Have you ever finessed your opponent so hard that they rage quit on the first turn? Have you ever been that quitter? Bower Dad here, and welcome to episode two of Why Did I Lose? This is my new YouTube series answering that very question. And no, it's not because your opponent got a lucky freeze. My goal here is to use thoughtful analysis to turn more losses into wins. Come join me. The analysis for this game is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to skip the first turn. I'm going to show the entire rest of the game, and then we're going to come back for a deep dive analysis on that opening. Because as you're going to see in a moment, I start the second turn with only two Pokemon. That first turn was a dumpster fire. My goal here is to explore some alternate lines of play that would have perhaps set me up for better success down the line. Let's check it out. And so we start on the second turn of the game. I need to make up for lost time, lost Mons, lost everything. So I'm going to Dynamax Kartana and go straight into a hyper offense. Set the Tailwind, get a Steel Spike going into the Hatterene to pick up the defense boost from Steel Spike and the additional attack boost from the Beast Boost ability. It's at this point that I discover Solgaleo has Max Flare. I was originally very frightened. However, we are in rain, and my Kartana is plus one defense. So it ends up not being a super huge deal. My opponent replaces their Hatterene with the Riolu. And I aim for a very similar approach to the next turn. I reset the rain, and I'll throw another Steel Spike, but not before my opponent gets to do some coaching to buff that Solgaleo. The Steel Spike will thankfully one-shot the Riolu, giving me an additional attack boost from the Beast Boost, as well as the Steel Spike. Now we're plus two, plus two. Solgaleo will throw another Max Flare. It will not KO Kartana, but it will bring me down to red. And with that, the Pokemon count is even. We're at 2-2 at this point, and Entei is the Pokemon I do not want to see here. I decide that I'm going to Rain Dance, which I don't think is optimal. I don't think it's optimal. If you have any suggestions for how maybe I could have played this turn, let me know. Because as you can see on Move Select, I'm spending a little bit of time going back and forth on my options before settling on the Max Overgrowth into the Solgaleo slot. Now, I don't think this turn is why I lost. However, if you have input, I'd like to hear it because I was a little bit at a loss for what to do. I set the rain, and Overgrowth goes into Solgaleo, but does not KO. Tornadus is going to take a little bit of damage from the Stone Edge. Kartana will fall to another Flare Blitz. Now it's at this point that I'm doing a bit of a Hail Mary. I decide to Hurricane the Entei to see if maybe I can get a Confusion, bail myself out of this very dire situation. It doesn't work. You'll see I'll take the Stone Edge, and then Sunsteel Strike will finish me up. Me up, and that's the end of the game. Okay, now that we've seen how the game ends, we can go back to the first turn and really dig into what went wrong. It was my Kyogre and Regieleki led against my opponents Solgaleo and Hatterene. With Regieleki and Kyogre at the ready, I decide that I'm going to Electroweb to reduce speed and then Water Spout for massive damage before my opponent knows what hit them. Problem is. I forgot about Solgaleo's ability called Full Metal Body, which says, hey, if you want to lower my stats, no you don't. The Electro Web will connect, will reduce Hatterene's speed a little bit, but not Solgaleo's, allowing it to get off a massive Max Mindstorm against my Kyogre, dealing over two-thirds of its health and severely diminishing the potency of the Water Spout that I am about to use. You'll see that come out here in just a moment. It's going to do an unfortunate small amount of damage, and Hatterene will survive, allowing it to expanding force and get the double kill against the lead that I had. All right, what did we learn? The key misstep here was forgetting about Full Metal Body. Without that speed reduction against Solgaleo, my whole turn one fell apart. In order to understand why, let's review the move Water Spout. 
For those who may not know, water spout's power depends on the user's HP. With full HP, this power is 150. With half HP, the power is 75, and so on. In the case of my Kyogre, it took huge damage before getting to use Water Spout, so its actual power was about 40. This is a far cry from the maximum 150. This answers our question, why did I lose? However, it also introduces a new question, what should I have done instead? The most natural response is to use Origin Pulse. With a power of 110 that doesn't depend on HP, Kyogre would deal far more damage against both targets. This would have been more than enough damage to knock out the Hatterene, keeping both of my lead Pokemon alive for subsequent turns. The potential downfall here is that Origin Pulse has an accuracy of 85. This means that there's a 15% chance that I miss Hatterene altogether, putting me in an even worse spot than we just saw. If we're not concerned with the damage against Solgaleo, there is a better plan to guarantee that we stop Hatterene. If we instead change Regieleki's move to Thunder, it ensures a KO on Hatterene in exchange for less damage on Solgaleo. Thunder and Water Spout seems like a strange opening, but given how the rest of the game plays out, securing even one extra turn of life for Regieleki and Kyogre would have made such a huge difference. I like both of these options. Number one is more consistent total damage, while number two is a guaranteed Hatterene KO. No matter which one I decide on, at least now I'll never forget that Solgaleo is faster than Kyogre. That concludes this episode of Why Did I Lose? If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to hear what you thought in the comments below. If you liked the video, there is indeed a button for that. If you'd like to keep up with the series and be notified of new videos, you can subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate that. Last but certainly not least, if you would like to come hang out or maybe catch some of these games live, I stream over on Twitch every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. Central Time at twitch.tv slash Have an excellent rest of your day.